Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Do you like that little bit of whispering? That's for that gentleman who keeps emailing me and uh, driving him mad. The voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Right, I'm just on my way up to uh, Dennis's, got a meeting, some good news. Let's hope it's about the show next Friday. All you hardcores out there should be uh, buying a ticket and coming and seeing your Uncle Porky. Because are you hardcores or not? If you're not going to boxing, too many armchair fans. You've got to promote small shows like this to, to turn them into big shows, aren't you, and grow the sport. You know what I mean? But it is what it isn't. <laughs> Friday, I love Fridays. Have a look here, what we got here? There you go, Miss and Mike are doing 30 and a 60. Uh, yeah, I love Fridays. Not the same though doing boxing without my pal Chris Medley and AJ Hobson. Need them boys around me. Proper characters, proper Sheffield characters. Like Sean Bean, Dennis's pal. Proper characters. Sean Bean's a blade though, isn't he? He's not an owl. He's a proper blade fan, isn't he? But I'm looking forward to the show next week. Josh Wales got his opponent sorted. Second fight at featherweight. That'll be Josh grown into weight then. And then we'll be putting him in a proper fight. This is an alright fight, isn't it? But you can't jump up to weight divisions in under a year, can you? Um, or is it about a year? Two weight divisions in a year, and you know, not grow into weight. But I think Josh is looking well in gym. John Joe Irwin and his dad training him. Well, his dad trains him. John Joe's doing pads. He's looking sharp. Josh actually looking really sharp. I'm impressed. Really impressed. So well, let's see. So no beginning. Isn't it? Cash Alley's on board now. So he'll be sparring some serious people soon. Hopefully, now he's got Richard as his trainer. Next time, leave me a tin opener, mate, to get through. Jesus, these Volvo drivers are nightmares, aren't they? Right, look at that! Oh. Do you know what? I bet I'm the best driver on road. I'm sure there's something I've forgot as well. But, uh, Yeah, so it's all good, positive stuff. Nice uh, to uh, read some nice comments this morning. I just had a, a read of the uh, comments on the Mr. Bean at large video. <laughs> they love them Mr. Bean ones, don't you? But I think we've, uh, I think we've exhausted Mr. Bean and Eddie this week. So we'll have a change next week. We'll mix it up a bit next week. So even I get tired of the same thing. I'm like, a, I'm like one of them fireworks, aren't I? An air bomb repeater. Just keep repeating it all the time. But it's all good, isn't it? It's all good. All them people that send me them comments, having a pop. Let's see your channel start up. You put yourself out there. Have you got anything to hide? A lot of people have things to hide, don't they? When they put yourself out there. It is what it is, isn't it? But <sighs> who's gonna take me on anyway? I'm invincible. I wish. Plant pot, aren't I? Plant pot porky. Which way am I gonna go now here? Yeah, go down here. Sheffield, isn't it? So, uh, Dempsey Whale got his opponent sorted for Steffi Bull's show. You need to go support Steffi Bull's show on September 21st. Him and, him and his business partner, the Spice Boy, Ryan Rhodes, putting a show on at Magda. 
looks half decent to be honest. I know he'd up his game, Steffi, because he's now with Ryan. You can't get away with what he was putting out. So, looks a good show that. Dempsey will be 2-0 then, he's on his way in it. No beginnings, like I said. No beginnings. It's that place in Bowlby, innit? No beginnings. Where drug addicts go. Like me. I'll always be a drug addict. I just love drugs. I just love them. Drugs are my mates. But uh, I once took this bird out, right? This is ages ago, ages ago. She says to me, Porky, do you take drugs? <laughs> she said it in front of my mates and everybody started rolling all over the floor. And I goes, are you out of your mind or something? I said, you're barking, you. You're barking, you. First date and you're asking me things like that. She goes, oh, oh, I just wanted to ask. She goes, because I do. <laughs> I goes, what are you on about? She pulled a big bag of Charlie. We're rock hard. I have a handbag. I said, give me here, love. Give me that here. He's somebody to look after that for you. You might get mugged round here in Edlington. <laughs> but, thank crunchy, it's Friday. But them days are in past, aren't they now? A walk on the wild side to Porky. Oh, look at this here at Ellaby. A walk on the wild side to Porky now is uh, half a stingo and a packet of pork scratchings. That's it. Look at this here, man. Don't be letting him in! What are you doing, man? Go, mate. That's what you get for letting people in. You lose your spot. Fucking letting people in. Like that. Let's all let people in. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna let everybody in. Plant pot. Look at this here, man. Unbelievable. But, uh, I think it's December next show, September 20th, next Friday, and then I think it's this first week in December, I think, I think it's first week in December, the show after that, Let's see if I can pull a stroke here, look at that, oh, pork is through, what you do, you go right to end at roundabout, then you cut in, don't you, you leave them with a tin up now, because they do it to you. This is how I look at it, right? You've got to show authority on the road. Look at that, get in there. It'll just save me some 10 minutes there. But, uh... Right, I want to chat about... Now that I've just talked complete knackers for the last five minutes. I want to chat about... Go on then, mate. I want to chat about... I forgot what it's called now, but Rico sent me a... a, a something last night. Chronic trauma or brain injury or something like that. I'm wondering if White Rhino is suffering from something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it all, to be honest. Or I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, you know, if, you, if you're saying you're going to blow your brains out and that, I mean... Right, Rhino's not doing his son any favours if he wants to box, is he? I mean... First argument you could say, if you were his manager, you'd be saying, what are you doing sitting on ring apron after fighting Bracamante and saying, oh, I didn't train for this fight. I didn't train. And we know what happened then, don't we? We know what happened then, don't we? They pulled him off at Christmas show last year, didn't they? They pulled him off at Christmas show, so that's one show he's missed out on. The one after that... Uh, well, this is this one. It's his second one he's missed out on. He puts a tweet out saying, oh, I've 18 months and all that. I've been badly 18 months and eyesight and dizziness and all that. That might be the first signs of chronic brain trauma or something. You know, like what American football players get? 
So he could, he could be that, and then he's saying he's going to blow his brains out, things like that. That's not a well man, is it? So I don't know, but you know, I don't see him much now. Probably see him odd, 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 at bus stop odd days and that, but I don't think that's good, is it? So it'll be a job centre for Dave now if he's not going to box again, won't it? Be a job centre job. Well, what else could it be? This is because of busy trainer. He might get a he might get a slot on Love Island. So he'll be into or something like that, won't he? All that social media thing. I've never watched an episode of that in my life. You don't watch knackers like that. It's for young kids, isn't it? For babies, isn't it? It's like saying, do you watch Grain Jill Porky? Yeah, I did when I was ten. And Zamo were chasing Dragon on foil. I thought, oh, Zamo looks out his face. I think I'll try some of that when I'm 30. But, uh, you get some air con on here, man. But now, uh, I don't know, I wonder what's going to happen now. I mean, they pulled him off at the show, haven't they? If he's messing about and crying wolf and just doing it for attention, uh, he shot his Senate foot, hasn't he, really? He hung himself, again, playing to the crowd. But if he's genuinely ill, well, we're, we're going to see, aren't we? But I hope he's all right. But like I said, he's people go on about this depression thing around. I'm not having a go at people who are depressed. Well, there's 100,000 people in prison system, there's 90,000 that they're declaring, then you've got all the demands. Now out of them 100,000, how many do you think that are in prison, are depressed? I guarantee you, every single one of them is depressed and battling mental health addiction. And all the families are battling it as well, it has a knock-on effect. Dave Allen's got a few quid, hasn't he now, so... But, that should, but then again, Stan Collymore, he was depressed, wasn't he? And he had a few million, didn't he? So I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know. If you don't know what's going on in people's lives, I don't know. But I think when you've had people hanging out the back of your arsehole, and then all of a sudden they're not, it's a bit of a big come down, isn't it? It's a crash from reality, mixing it with famous millionaire people, isn't it? So I don't know what's going to happen to him. I don't know, but what promoter in the right mind is going to put him on a show? What if he decides to just start taking loads of punishment? What if it's been going on ages and he's just had enough? And he's just getting through medical to fight and he's just wanting to stick stick his head there and take good hiding? I don't know, there's some of it. I don't know. I'll have a chat with Den about it now in office if I can. Before we paint Sheffield red tonight. Maggie Mays tonight. I think we're in there. Charles Sheffield a few beers. To leave this up at office and get a taxi on. None of that drinking and driving for Porky. I'm a two time offender, aren't I, for that? Third time, it's a ten year ban, isn't it? I'm lucky I've got a license at home, and I might not have shortly. But, but no, it's, uh, I think it's a sad state of affairs. One minute you're on, one minute you're on press conference, next minute you're putting out your feelings on social media and you're hanging yourselves. You build yourself up on social media and you hang yourself on social media. I don't know. It might be Raiders Rain next week and snapped out of it but it's too late then isn't it because who's going to give him a license after all that madness he's gone through he's coming out with. It's such a madness isn't it? I mean what, what, what do you do? Do you, do, do, you, oops. do, do you keep it out? Do you keep it all to yourself, things like that, or what? I don't know. I don't know how that kind of thing works. I used to keep it to myself in jail if I were down. It usually be two or three days, you know, leading up to a visit, and probably leading up, leading, and after the visit, then you just snap out of it, don't you? You go back into into normal mode, don't you? Any man who says he don't get depressed in jail is a liar. But you know, to get depressed out here, you've got everything out here. Maybe people have to go to prison to understand what they've got out here. Turn off, it's getting cold. What do you think? Do you think maybe people have to go to prison to understand what they've actually got? I do. I do. That's what I think. 
I think people, I think national service, I think people should do national service, me. Prisoners just like that, innit? It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing how many people would appreciate life if they'd done some Dicky Bird. In my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. Do you know what I mean? There's, I've got pals in jail, right, that are multi millionaires. And do you know what? They're doing the finishing 15s off. 15! Yeah, and he's in ants now, he can spend 20 quid a week. He's probably earning more than that a day. And his bank out here, what good is that to him? Unless he needs me to relieve him of his redges while he's in there. I can advise him on that, but it's not good. Shout out to Raymondo. How are you doing, Raymondo? Smash your taxi up, aren't you? I don't know, I hope you take it for every penny lad. See you next Friday. Behave yourself as well if you're at my table. We're talking knackers. But uh Yeah so So yeah you've got to feel for Dave Allen if he's uh just thrown his career away with a tweet like that, I mean Who's advising him? I don't know. He's doing videos saying he's smart and that. And bright and all that. And then you go printing that on social media. Scary and bored to death and Eddie Earn to death. Unbelievable. And he's getting his set in good shape as well. Do you know what I mean? I just can't get my head round it. Can't get my head round it. I'm doing it with this. I need to get me gimbal off Frank. Uh, what can you do? Tyson Fury, Otto Wallin tomorrow. Uh, Tyson Fury on point. That's going to be my bet. If he knocks him out, I'd be impressed. I'd be impressed. It's another undefeated guy that knocked out. You can't knock that, can you? But I don't want to hear about all this rank number four in the world and all this knackers. He's ranked number 46 on box rec. 46. So, even that 46 up across five uh, sanctioning bodies, number four is about right, isn't it? So, if you're a top 50 box rec, you'll earn a few quidders in heavyweight, won't you? I mean, Dave Allen's ranked about 33, isn't he? But will he fight again? I hope he does. I hope he does. But I don't know. I'd be interested to see if Dennis would give him another chance. If nobody else will, but we'll see, won't we? That'd be a good fight, wouldn't it? Cash Alley against Dave Allen. So I thought Cash Alley did better against David Price than Dave Allen. In your lane, lorry driver. So we'll see, won't we? We'll see, but we'll see. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with these new brakes on this. Really impressed. Look at that. Woo! You gotta have brakes, aren't you? When you're a crap driver like me. There's drivers and there's screwdrivers, Billy Joe. Joe Saunders once said to somebody I know, I must be a screwdriver, so I can't drive for toffee. I'm a crap driver, just crap. I'm not even allowed kids in car, I have to take them in another one. Seats don't go in back of this anyway, they don't, they don't fit. You can, only, you can get two babbies in back here, but now they've made it with them seats, haven't they? So, I don't know, I might go get a... Uh, an Audi TT now, because I don't really have anybody in back here. So I, I might treat myself to an Audi TT or Sirocco, or something different, ready for a change. Uh, ready for a change. I like them Sirocco's. I really like them, honestly. I like them a lot. 
more about Dennis, listen to this one. This is a typical Dennis there. His car's a tip. Inside his car's a tip. It's like somebody's been McDonald's and just emptied everything out. It's knee deep tip. And he's not even took it for certain service, not first service. Not even took it. He's got it's like Christmas trees, light, lights on dash. He ain't even bothered. There's lights on it for tyre pressure, oil, all sorts. He's not even bothered. You do if you're driving a brand new car, a beamer, and there's no oil in it, that's your own fault as far as I'm concerned. And if you're not turning up for the services, you don't have a clog. If you're not turning up for the services, unbelievable. As if I as if I'd do that, I'd be on it myself. I'll do it myself anyway, I'll get my mate to do it, but you've got to keep on it, your car. You've got to look after your cars, all you people out there who've got a motor car at home, look after them because when something comes wrong on your car, for example, if a light comes on on your dash and you say, oh, I'll get me mate to take it off, he's got a laptop, that light's come on for a reason. You know if you were on an aeroplane and a light come on, do you think British Airways turn around and say, hey we'll get lads at airport to take it off, they've got a laptop. What? Putting your life's at risk. Get on top of the situation, alright, and sort them out. A little bit of a porky, porky top tip there for you. I don't have any lights on my dash, I've got OCD, I? So. <laughs> oh my god! He's in! Big pork is in, I'll sort a lot of them out. Whoops. I should park on this, shouldn't I really? This should be a good interview, shouldn't it? So peace, whoops a daisy, whoops that's that way innit, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport, alright? Uh, yeah I see what you mean, so basically when you started getting a few quid, obviously you must have traded your, what was that car you had, that, that when it a dollar mite? <laughs> no I need to have a dollar mite, I had a triumph for summer, wasn't it? I had a dog. Oh, yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, my first car I ever had were an Ilman Hunter. Ilman Hunter, obviously, did you get rid of Ilman Hunter once you started getting a few quid then? Yeah, I got a, uh, and I remember getting a, I started doing a bit of hard texting and I couldn't, do, well, I can't do hard texting, but one of my pals had been doing it, I thought, well, he's getting a few quid now. I learned how to do two patterns, swirl and stipple. Yeah. Arsiena can do that now, she's eight year old. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd in paper, if you wanted a different pattern, I was knackered, weren't I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it helped me get a few quid and I, and I managed to buy a, a car and first time I told you the story yeah, yeah. I had to sell my ground to buy a pickle. Yeah, 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 I remember that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a Terry Curran. Terry Curran, but I... I, I Football it, Terry Curran. If anybody's ever been any good, who's been good to me, I always remember him. And, and yeah. there's somebody who I had seen for years and she lived across, uh, up, up road from us and they were rough and ready there, family, but honest to goodness people. Yeah, yeah. And she loves me till today. And I had her round at my house the other day, and they were they wanted to cook for us, her and her fella. And and it's that's that's genuine, real. Yeah, yeah. They ain't got anything. They live up East Bank Road, uh, off Aberthorn. Yeah. And uh, they just get by day to day, but the proper people, and uh, that means more to me than. Yeah, it's nice being on telly, nice being on Porky's Corner, being famous on Porky's <laughs> Corner. And, uh, yeah, I've got a nice car and stuff like that, but what's real, Russ? Yeah, yeah, we're all saying we're all going to be gone in 20 years, aren't we, if yeah. we're lucky? So, what, what another one of my dad's saying is, well, you, you make your mark, so we have a pop at things, and obviously we just do a few bits around here. Yeah, I've had a pop at things. Uh, I've, I've won money, I've lost money. I haven't earned as much money as I should have done out of boxing, but... Do I cry about it every night? Do I? No. Because like everything I've done is what I could have only dreamed of when I was a young one. Yeah. Uh, achieving certain things. The only thing I didn't do, I didn't achieve it within myself, but look what I did besides that. I've been in a ring myself, 
play football at semi-pro, I love sport, my kids love sport and I want them to be into sport so it's healthy and to win anything at whatever level you win it at is special because you make your memory so yeah. that's, that's how I think and, and if I have a kid who I'm working with and if I can, uh, I mean we've been Sam Sheedy, uh, Liam Cameron, uh, Ross, Birkinshaw. Ross Birkinshaw, now we've got uh, Tommy Frank. If if we if I had got involved, you know, there's certain people who probably might have, you know, gone on one thing, but yeah. I've made their I've helped make their path easier, uh, or made got them opportunities may, may, when maybe they, they wouldn't have got them. Um, so if I can play a part that way, uh, it, it's something that we've won together. Yeah. So I, I just uh, it gives me a buzz helping somebody get the best that they can out of the career or the sport. Or the chosen sport. Yeah. Um, so, so all right then. So it's nice for you to talk about uh, things like that then, because it it shows. Let me just get thing on. It shows that you know, uh, like other, some other promoters, because it just shows you're genuine and a bit real. So I think that's good that you've obviously got the same friends around you as you had when you grew up and that, so... Anyway, are, are we uh, enjoying it living up at Totley anyway now? Are you enjoying it? I, li I like it up here. Yeah, it's, it's pleasant. Um, there's, there's one or two nice bars or... I don't I mean I'm not a massive drinker, I'm about only when you come to town. Yeah. But, um, and there's nice restaurants up here and it's a nice environment for kids, but, you know... I, I, I enjoy it wherever I live because I've got a nice little family. Yeah. And like yeah. one or two good close friends, so that'll do, won't it? Yeah. Are you going to be staying up there then? Are you? Um, are you not going? Well, abroad? we've still got, we've still, we've still got a place in Jersey. Yeah. Um, oh, a couple of places. <laughs> have you still got a gym in Jersey as well, yeah? Yeah, still up there, yeah. So, uh, they, uh, they might, we might end up back there. I'm not, might, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, I might, I might be going up back there. Um, but very, very, very surely, so we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. we might not back there, and uh, I ain't got a problem but, uh, with that. But uh, as long as I've got my family and my close friends, uh, I don't mind where I live, to be honest. But uh, I've got I've got investments out there, and uh, and uh, I'm going to take care of them. Um, and uh, I've got to probably be out there, maybe running some of them investments again soon. Yeah, you like it out there, Jersey, then. It's a bit yeah. dear like, isn't it? When I went I thought it was dear. Yeah, it's a nice part of the world, but you know, wherever I've gone, Ross, I mean I've got pals in Thailand, pals in uh, America, in California and uh, over years I've thought about thought about living in California because I was looking at some property there years ago. Um, and uh, but I've, I've, I've got some property in Jersey, so um, I'll decide what I'm going to do without with being having to see to some since, since my dad died and now my mum's just died. Um, it, it makes you take stock a lot because you think, mm. what's, what's all oh, running around chasing your tail? What's it about? And uh, falling in, falling out with people like, uh, what's it matter when you know close ones are, are ill and, 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 uh, and they pass? So it makes you take stock. But um, I'll, uh, I've, I've got my lovely little family, and like I say, my lovely little. Uh, Close knit friends, so um, wherever I go, we 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 have, we have a good time, and uh, yeah. I'm still achieving stuff in sport, so uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, how come you never go in swimming pool like this? <laughs> you got a swimming pool, you don't win it. <laughs> you know, with my arms getting that big, rough, yeah, you don't want to. Can't get it, no, I can't. No, I can't get rubber rims to fit them. You know them wings. <laughs> can't you swim? I Denver swim. Can't you swim? Must have come swim. Oh, I had to be your cousin. Right, uh, we'll not as well as I could. <laughs> you could swim. We could do a uh, Brad Watson 29 mile across matter on a jet ski. <laughs> not a lot going on upstairs there, is there? <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah, it is he's brave, isn't he, Brad? Isn't he? Brave, isn't he, to do that? Oh, he's brave. Is he brave or, or brainless? Mad. mad. <laughs> <laughs> brainless Brad. Yeah. Um, uh, but he's, he's, he's a character, isn't he? Yeah, he's a character, Brad. Wait, I was, wait you've, you've probably seen this in news in the last few days about Dave Allen. Like, how did you come to sign Dave Allen? Then we'll get on to what's happened with his problems in the last few days. What, how did you Kevin come to sign? were with me and um, there were uh, somebody called Carl... Well, Spencer. Spencer. Uh, and he brought, I think he brought Dave with him. I think this is how the story goes in then. Kevin had a both on pads and then he had him sparring and um, 
and I had it too, Kevin thought that David got something yeah. about him. And uh, Carl, Carl were lazy, but had got some Carl. ability, but David were lazy and got some ability, but he just got a bit more of an edge than Carl. Yeah. And uh, and it's a shame because I, I liked them both. I got on Wally and both. Um, but uh, Dave, we got we managed to get him a sponsor. There was somebody who wanted to sponsor him at the time. I can't remember who it was. So it made the job easy. But Dave, bless him. I mean, I'm I'm gagging him his name, the White Rhino, didn't I? You were going to call him something else though, weren't you? And he changed it, didn't he? You were telling me. No, I changed it. Oh, did you change it yeah. to White Rhino? Yeah. Yeah. It was me. What? No, don't let anybody else say anything. It was me. What? Why Rhino? Why Rhino though? Because he just plows for. Yeah, he's just uh, the, a the, charger, the, isn't he? Yeah, they are just they're tough, aren't they? Strong built, yeah, yeah, solid, and you know they were white buffalo in France where both are. Yeah. So I thought, well, can we have now a name enough? And I don't know. I just clicked and thought, I know the white Rhino. White Rhino. And uh, so it's he it stuck with him, and uh, he had seven fights with you, didn't he? Undefeated. Yeah, and but he was lazy, wouldn't train properly. Made an excuse. I mean, he you know, you know, he knows I'll say it to his face. I like him a lot. Me and Dave get on great. But he was lazy. And what happens, especially heavyweight, mm. Russ, you're going to take more punishment. You're going to show your career and you're damaging your brain, yeah. especially yeah. by like getting kicked by a horse. Mm. But if you if you if your body's conditioned, like better, Tyson, don't get it, does he? Condition better, you'll slip shots better, you won't take them full on, your body will absorb better where if you do take a shot, the fitter you are. It's more dangerous when you're out of condition taking big shots. You think he's took a lot of punishment for a 27 year old? Yeah, absolutely, he? yes. I absolutely, and I don't like it. And I, I'll tell him, Dave, Dave you took too many punches by not being in proper condition. I don't like it because I like you, you know, I do, as a, as a friend. So I don't like you taking punishment when you're not in shape. It's not clever, and just to say, yeah, but I'm tough. Well, you're shortening your career, and you're not doing your brain cells any good, and it's going to affect your. That's right, Peter life went mad at him, didn't he? When he had him, didn't yeah. he? Flipped his lid. Yeah, if you're not going to. Said, I want to tough guy. Yeah, exactly. Because obviously he's used to Tyson and Huey, they don't yeah, get yeah. it, do they? Yeah. Well, very rarely, do they? So, it's, um, it's an unforgiving game, and plenty of people uh, want to sit here and go, ah, what a tough kid you are, and pat you on the back for their own entertainment. Well, that's fair enough being a tough kid and yeah. taking odd shot. Don't take un unnecessary Frotch shots. Frotch took odd shot, didn't he? Yeah, but like, he was always in shape, Carl Frotch. Mm. Clinton were always in shape. He took too many shots. Uh, and? It, towards end. Because, but I think he just lost a bit of an edge towards end. And, and if he'd have done things slightly different, so I think he beats Tobias. He got Cloud. Cloud out, didn't he? And Clinton, didn't he? Could have got him out. Could, could have beat, he would have beat in a different frame of mind and I and I just started to lose him by then. That bond, when I looked back, was starting to go a little bit. But it stuck with that bond. With a one, but there were other people, other individuals whose name we won't mention, who were working with us at the time, who weren't, who were mm. what you would call disingenuous. Mm. They weren't batting for the same team. Uh, what Clinton had other people around him you didn't like? Well. You know, people who were working with us. Oh, we were right. working with you, you mean? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. And, and uh, so, he was a... He were a he got a right record though, Clinton, hasn't he? When you look at his record, it's amazing, isn't it? He got a clean sweep all the way through, hasn't he? From area all the way through. Yeah, well... Area title to win We did all right, didn't we? Yeah. We're getting back to Dave Allen. He, right, what's happened is, he's put a tweet out after the prize fight saying that he's a bad headache to 18 months, he's not been well. He's tired, headaches, vision problems, wearing these big glasses and that. And then all of a sudden he's got a date with Sky, the glasses have gone, he's got 20-20 vision and blah blah blah. Then he's on the sh press conference, then he's put the tweet out the other night saying he's going to blow his brains out. So he's now been took off show and he's saying he's, he's come off Twitter, cancelled it. But he's put a Facebook thing out, and where, where does he go from here now? Do what promoter was going to touch him? And has he got what we, the, the gentleman that we know, the expert, think with a, a, a brain injury, you know, like American football? Is there someone going out like Jermaine Taylor had a meltdown, didn't he? And he went running around with a gun, didn't he? And they blamed it on this mm -hmm. old blows to Eddie, mm -hmm. Riddick, Bo, Meldrick, Taylor, oh, like that. Dave's got a little bit of a slur now, hasn't he? We've noticed it, haven't we? A lot of other people have. Where does he go from here now? Will he, would you promote him again? 
I don't know. I, I, I need to analyse everything what, what's happening because, like, um, look, we've got Cash Alley. Yeah. Uh, are we are we going to take to a, hopefully to a, to the next level? Mm. Um, nothing's cast in stone, but I see a little bit of something in Cash where yes. I believe he can, uh, and I know Richard does, where we can change that kid. And I think what's happened to him with buying David at uh, Price, uh, it's been a wake up call for him. He's been playing at it. I mean, mm. putting it in as much as he could have done, and uh, he's, look, he's, I think is he sixteen and one or fourteen and one? Fifteen and one. Fifteen and one. So he's seven knockouts. So that's we are doing it properly. The same age as Dave Allen, Cash. They grew up oh, together, didn't they? Cash is as fresh as a daisy. Company. Fresh as a daisy. Yeah. David's been Luis Ortiz. Oh. Well, it's seven, eight rounds. Ten rounds with Yoka, lost every round, lost every round against Ortiz. Ten with Dillian White, and he can punch kind of that left hook he was sticking into. We watched it, didn't we? Yeah. Dillian White, David Price, that were another ten rounds. Massive puncher. You tried to sign Price, didn't you? Well, he was signing. He, he was, yeah. Massive, massive punchers there. And plus, they had a war with Bracamante. It's just beat down after beat down after beat down. Where has he won a round in these fights, Dave? But he's funny, he's got a following on Twitter and they keep chaining him out. Do you think he has been used and abused by certain sometimes, people? Yeah, sometimes people like a little bit what happened with Ricky towards the end of his career. Ricky Ann. They, they, they wheel him out as a performing bear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're happy to think, oh, you're going to get a few quid. Well, there's other people benefiting uh, at the side and behind him. So I don't necessarily agree with that, how that, how that works. Uh, and I think David is playing with his health now and he's got to pick and choose his last few fights because I think he should 27 be, washed up uh, taking his last few fights and just making sure he's financially secure keep buying his houses if that's what he's doing so he's got rental income and then um, do something else do something else apart from boxing because uh, I think he'll end up walking on his heels He's took too many punches, he takes too many punches. What about all them sparring sessions? He's done 500 rounds with Joshua. And there's other Tyson and you, he did all that. And it's all punishment, isn't it? I used to take him up to Tyson's with you and Tyson, yeah. So. Bolton, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or it's uh, working somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, working, yeah. But his, his Peter's moved now, only from yeah. Alleyville Road, and, yeah. yeah. So. Joe Gallagher's got that gym now. We're at Bolton? Yeah. Tesco Joe. Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Joe, but you did block me last week on WhatsApp, so I've got to give you some back, kid. <laughs> you blocked me on WhatsApp, yeah. Tesco, Joe. Don't be a spoiled sport, Joe. I know, don't be a spoiled sport, Joe. We love you. If you see me at a show, you'll be like, Fuck oh, you, how are you doing, Dennis? Oh, you had me getting. But, so unblock me, Joe, don't be like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad, aren't I? Well, it's, a, it's a soap opera, isn't it? This, isn't it? This, isn't it? Now, you've been involved in this 25 years now, haven't you? I should be punched on my day, Valley. You should be out. You should be ulcers and mental breakdowns. A lot of what, what fighters you've had, and all, all problems you've had, of course. Uh, hey? I know. And my missus keeps telling me, why do you keep doing it? Oh. I love the thrill of winning something and being involved like Tommy Frank for example winning Commonwealth and, mm. and enjoying them special nights creating them and, and, he, and he's such a grateful kid and uh, there's one or two that Glyn's got coming through so working well with Glyn and I just enjoy and uh, you know like going back to when my mum passed uh, it was nice Glyn kept in touch with me and Tommy and things like that it means a lot to me yeah. to see kept asking we like, we like, we like you know. guys just, yeah. just seeing how I were and yeah. listen, you can have, you can disagree agree about things or whatever. I've never met your mum though, did I, mate? No, but... I know, I know what you mean. But Glyn, well, in touch with me as one or two, yeah. like, close people were, what, which helped me through it. Yeah. It's uh, it's not nice when you lose your mum because you lost your mum and dad, aren't you, now, the last couple of years? Mm. It's not good. But, uh, but getting back to the boxing, it's... Uh, you meet some characters, don't you? What about that guy we signed here? Uh, him all you were in a cafe with Richard Towers and he walked in and he broke out in a song. And you signed him and we did that thing. <laughs> Go back on one of the videos. 
It turned out, it turned out he broke into a sunbed shop and he and stole vouchers and then gone back to use them and got, and got arrested. <laughs> what did they call him? Jason or something. Jason, that one it. Yeah, but uh, I liked him though, Jason. He was alright, wasn't he? Uh, but, I liked him as a but, kid. Uh, I thought we were smashing. I liked him. I don't know, but, but no, no. you meet characters, don't you? You meet characters, I'm, don't you? I, I, I'm, I love meeting characters. We can have a crack, we can have a crack, can't we? I love but, meeting uh, characters. It breaks it up a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, because life can be too serious. Yeah, yeah, it can yeah, be. Especially this game can, but uh, we do meet some characters out. Huh? So, we've got well, you and with Russ. Yeah, we've got me, I'm... Uh, I've got fitness. you, babe. So we're going to send Dave Allen our best and hope he's all right. Dave, sort yourself out, come on. Leave that stop playing tip crowd on social media and grow up a bit. You're better than that. Because they'll not be there when you didn't go to, will they, Dennis? All these patting him on back. I got you and I'll not be there for you as well, mate. Trust Keep me. Keep buying your houses and renting them out and getting your income and... Uh, yeah. and uh, get rid of hangers on. Yeah. Get Just rid of them. Real people. So, I think that's about it, really. We've had a good chat. Uh, yeah. Is your family all right, then? All good, Sarah family, and kids, you. everything all right? Yes, I think you. Sound, yeah, we're all sound. Uh, everything all right here? Nice, yeah. Well, I like it then. It's uh, House of Churchill's in uh, Doncaster. Okay. Don't it? Don't yeah. it? Yeah, they've made it for me. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I like it. Oh, right, lost a bit more weight, haven't you? Yeah, I'm about two hundred and twelve pound now. What's that mean? Fifteen two. Pounds, shillings, and pence. Are you, is that all you're on? Yeah, yeah well, so three ninety five. One hundred so. fourteen. If, uh, well, I'm about uh, 12 pound off cruise away. Another stone, I'll be a cruise away. Then we've, we're going to keep your word, aren't you? Then we'll have to spar. You yeah. said when I get down to cruise, we're going to get at it at your gym. Do you want another Ooh. bite? Do you want another biting session? Well, we're gonna have uh, another. We're, we're gonna have uh, our second oh, oh, rematch. I want a rematch. I demand a rematch yeah, from the Bulgaria. Be, <laughs> you ain't gonna be no rematch. <laughs> Don't want <wrong>, Ron. <laughs> Ron. Ron. <laughs> So, so right. Thank you very much for uh, for the interview today, Dennis. Shout out to Climber Cool, uh, Nicola's company. Nicola in Epworth, Doncaster. Keep doing what you're doing, Nicola. And uh, part of the team. Part of the team. She's on board now, isn't she? Cracking whip, then. Ooh, so uh, what do you think to Nicola's dad, Alfie? What's it all about, Alfie? Alfie. <laughs> we love Alfie. Alfie, I love, love you, Alfie. Alfie. And if it's quite alright, I love you, Alfie. Cos you're a Matlock, I, I love you, Alfie. Did you like it, Matlock? Oh, we had a great time, I, uh, so, we, uh, we won in the FA Cup. So you're into the next round, Matlock, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Hey, then if you get a Premier League team in a couple of rounds down, you'll, get, you'll be quids them, won't you? You could put that money into a squad to get into football league. It's all a bit of luck, isn't it? Little bit of look luck. Look at Barry Hearn with Leighton Orient. He nearly got him into uh, championship, didn't he? Right place, right time. Who mm. knows where Matlock could be? Mm. Eh? And Nicholas lad training there now. 18 year old. Let's see what we can good do. Good striker. Yep. Yeah. It's all looking Callum, good, isn't it? Callum. Let's, let's see what Callum we can Marsh, do. Marsh, good player. Going to America in January on a scholarship. Everywhere around. I tell you what, if he gets in team, they're coming Callum gets to in. America. Dan, if he gets what? in team, yeah. he could sack scholarship off if he gets in that lot of team. Well, they better get in then, eh? Yeah. Have I got to go training and show him a few little tricks? Yeah, you, you'll think you're a bit of a footballer then, don't you? Yeah, but I'm good at pulling me Who's the best footballer, you or Sean Bean? Oh, he's on eight at saying thousand free minutes on O2. Just get your thousand free minutes and no Is, that, is that him? That's him. Is it, does he get paid well for that? Just yeah. a bit. Just a bit. No, Jimmy Muir. He's down to when, he's down when to Saturday Jimmy Punch. Muir in that film. Is he a real person, Jimmy um, Muir? A lot of my pals. When were in Saturday that. comes. A lot of my pals were in, in that way. Were they? You know who made that film, don't you? No. John Daly's brother. John Daly's brother. He's been ringing me all day, John Daly. He needs to come out. Oh, we'll ring you. We'll yeah. ring you. But uh, I didn't know that. Is, is he a filmmaker, is he? Yeah. Oh, before we forget. Do you, you know, remember Islander? Yeah. He, he, he produced all that. Never. Uh, yeah. Islander 1 and 2 and 3 as well. Mark and John's on Skid Row then. <laughs> I'm joking. I was the black sheep of the family. family. <laughs> uh, before we forget, I want to mention Jane Couch because she always oh, brings up us. Love we love Jane Couch. Yeah, uh, now we're on about real. Yeah, she's no no flannel, you know, all these eyes behind makeup and and fancy hairdos and the nails and stuff. 
Jane is real. She and fought she's, against the she's system. Quality didn't she? In and out. We love it. Jane Cowles. Now Jane's got a book out this week. Oh. She's got her book out and she's done a promotional tour with Book. And she's had it hard. Jane's had an hard life. Not hard. Oh. If she'd have been now, oh my she'd God. have made a fortune. She, they put her in with Louise Riker, didn't they? She would have made a fortune and I'd have been at front of queue trying to help her do it. But they were trying to stop her, Maloney and Warren and them, weren't yeah, they? She says it more. If she'd have been we we us, we we're, we're proper. She opened proper. the path for everybody, didn't she? she? Did. She, she was a pioneer, really. Yeah, she, she was. She the yeah. Emily Pankhurst of boxing. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. And Sky won't even have her on as a pundit when women fight. How bad is that then? Well, she, she's proper. Uh, she's a proper person, and she will like Jane Cowell. Yeah, because you know why? Because they might, if they speak out of turn and say something that's fabricated. She'll just say, what? Yeah, she'll speak like the truth. like when he did some pundit work, they wanted him to say certain things, and he just told them straight, didn't he? So they just don't have you back, do they? Mr. Happy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but she, she's fun, you can have a laugh with you. Yeah, as well. yeah. I like Jane Couch, me a lot. She's got a lot of time for me, and I have her. She's well, just a straight goer, isn't she? Straight talker. She's got a good heart and all. She's a massive heart, hasn't she? So, Jane, good luck with your book. And I have ordered it today, your book. And it won't come while October, it's a month. But it's called Jane Couch, The Last Round. It's a good book. Oh, it's, it's, and the other book that they did about 20 years ago. It was just odd quotes and somebody were, I don't think it were authorised, I'm not sure, but this one's warts and all and she slays the board, Robert Smith and Lord, she, or Charlie Giles I think, she sets about them so, I can't wait to get my hands on it! Yeah, what are you doing? I know. But, but I bet it's good reading. Yeah, yeah, well, once I've read it, I'll, uh, I'll drop it off for you then. I'll get it signed for you. Yeah, get, Jane, get one signed. Jane, you're welcome next Friday, but you've already spoke to me, sent me a text this morning. Always. You can't make it, but she's always welcome. VIP, ain't she then? Anytime. VIP, you and Brian, anytime. So anytime. Proper, be, proper people. That's I think that, around, isn't yeah, it? proper people. I think that's about it, Ron. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic book. Oh, I want a bit slow here. Hey, hey.